This is the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser electric bike. And today we're out here in Santa Monica, California on the bike path. And I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about this bike before you buy it. In this video, we're gonna do a series of tests, including an acceleration test, a brake test, a hill climb test, as well as a range test. So I've been out here on this bike for 10.6 miles and the battery life is showing almost full still. So let's get on this electric bike and I'll tell you all about it as we ride down the beach path here from Santa Monica on down towards Venice. So the very first thing that I noticed getting on this bike is how comfortable the riding position is. So some of my first impressions on the Cafe Cruiser been on this bike for about a mile now this thing is comfortable love the riding position of this bike the sweat back handlebars are awesome and the seat that's on this bike is extremely comfortable dude i'm telling you the seat is everything on this bike i don't know if this is like some sort of like memory foam or something but it just has like so much squish to it and it's so wide uh, it makes a huge difference. And a few things adding to that comfort are springs in the seat as well as adjustable front suspension. So the front suspension can be adjusted by rotating this knob right here on the right. There are clicks, you can lock it out, you can firm it up and you can soften it. And there's also a preload adjustment on the left. So it is a cruiser style electric bike and you will be best served cruising on this bike, but it does actually have a pretty high top speed. We'll go ahead and bump it on pedal assist five and put it in top gear so I can show you what it can do on the top end. We're at 25, 26, 27, and 28. Just a little past 28, actually 29. Oh wow, this thing will keep going. So it is a class three electric bike, meaning it will give you throttle assist. Uh, under throttle only, it'll take you up to 20 miles per hour. And under pedal assist, it'll take you up to 28 miles per hour. I can see that this bike is actually taking us up a little bit past 28 miles per hour, which is pretty awesome. So there, obviously, I was pedaling and using the gears, which I'll tell you more about in just a moment. But let me show you what this bike can do, like zero to 20 acceleration under throttle only with a clip here. All right, going to do the acceleration test on the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser. Can't really see the miles per hour that well over here. So the GPS is right here. There's a small lag on this. I weigh 195 pounds, throttle only. Let's see how the motor performs. Immediate response, ride one up, uh, has really good throttle response. That's 13, 15, 17, 20, and it will bring you up to 22-ish and kind of maintain you there. So it is a 750 watt motor on this bike with a 15 amp hour, 48 volt battery, making for about 720 watt hours of energy. Now with that 750 watts, it does have 60 newton meters of torque. And this bike seems to do better at uh, holding top speeds rather than accelerating quickly and powering up hills. But let me show you how it does on steep hills. I'll splice in a clip here. All right, going to do the super steep hill test on the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser. 60 newton meters of torque. Buffang 750 watt motor. We'll see how it performs torque wise. So this one is going to definitely need a little bit of help for climbing this hill. Now this is a beach cruiser. It's not a hill climbing monster. So if you're looking to climb steep hills, this one doesn't climb super steep hills on its own very easily. So if you live in an area that you're gonna have to be going up a lot of steep hills and you want a motor that has strong torque for climbing hills, this is not the best option for you. Now to help with the cruising of this bike, it is actually geared very well for a bike that goes 28 miles per hour. Right now, I have it on gear eight. So there are eight gears on the Shimano shifter. Let me go ahead and just slow it down here. I, I'll show you a brake test here in just a moment, but uh, it actually has like a mountain bike style shifter. So you can shift down more than one gear at a time by pressing this lever in all the way. I can actually hop down three gears with one push of this lever. So it only takes me basically three pushes to get all the way down to first gear. And then you can shift through your gears with the uh, lever here on the other side of the handle. So both of the shifters are on the bottom side 
of the hand grip, which I really like. So this bike does have three inch wide tires on it. And it's actually a very nice balance. As you can see, they're kind of just cutting right through that sand nicely. Let's see how they can do riding in the sand. I'm kind of just curious. So three inches, like this is like wide enough that I can actually like ride on the sand. Uh, but they're, you know, they're not as good for like this sort of riding as like a four inch wide true fat tire bike would be. Now the benefit of having some slightly skinnier tires is these are much better, much lighter, much uh, more nimble. So you like really don't feel like the weight of these tires. So they can kind of do the sand, uh, but not as well as a fat tire. So to talk a little bit more about the specs of this bike, it does come equipped with Zoom hydraulic disc brakes with 180 millimeter rotors. Did a little brake test earlier. I'll splice that clip in here for you to see. All right, for the brake test, we'll bring it up to 20, 17, 20, full brakes. Pretty good hydraulic brakes. The hardest part about this brake test is getting the bike to go 20 precisely and not too too much faster than 20. So good brakes. So the brakes on this bike are perfectly sufficient. They work well. They bring the bike to stop without any problem whatsoever. And with these rather meaty three inch tires, it can actually uh, stop decently well on sand on concrete. <laughs> Oops, shouldn't be locking up the front tire like that. But as you can see, even with the front tire uh, locking up and sliding like that, the bike is still able to be handled. So this bike does come with five levels of pedal assist. You can turn it all the way off if you want and have no uh, help from the pedals at all, but you still can use the thumb throttle on pedal assist zero. So that's kind of nice. Um, if you put it on pedal assist one, it is a cadence sensor. So the cadence sensor will help you up to about eight miles per hour. Another thing that I really like about these ride one up bikes is their display. It shows you your wattage power that the motor is outputting at all times here on your little display. So you can see how much is helping you. Pedal Assist 2, which I just bumped it up to, will help you up to about 12 miles per hour. And another thing about these Ride One Up cadence sensors is I feel like they do a pretty darn good job compared to what a lot of uh, budget-friendly electric bike companies offer on their cadence sensor bikes. Some of them just seem like overly aggressive and like they help you way too much, whereas uh, the Ride One Up bikes, the cadence sensor is actually like pretty darn good. So of course you can bump that pedal assist up uh, all the way to five, in, in which case it'll start giving you, uh, oh, I forgot about this puddle here. I don't want to go flying through this actually. <laughs> there was just a huge windstorm out here yesterday. So that's the reason why all this sand and water is all over the trail. Pretty rare around here. But yeah, the, the pedal assist five, it will help you. It'll basically start putting out about 820 watts of power. Uh, so it's a 750 watt continuous output motor. It will help you pass 750 watts a little bit. This bike's actually pretty nimble, really. It's got a really good look to it too. I really like the look of this bike. It kind of looks like a, uh, cruiser motorcycle or something. I mean, this thing is pretty much a motorcycle, really. So excellent styling on the uh, Cafe Cruiser. Dude, this thing is uh, quite a bit fun to ride through some like twisties. Man, another puddle though. So this bike does come in two different frame options. It has a step over and a step through. This is the step over. So if you're looking for a bike that's a little bit easier to get on, you can get the step through frame. And then also there are a variety of colors. This is the indigo color, which I actually think is a very good looking color bike. However, you can check out the link below in the description box and you can see what other colors are offered on the Cafe Cruiser from Ride One Up. So another thing that's really cool about this bike is there is an integrated rear rack 
and it's a very sturdy rack that can support up to like 130 pounds of weight and the coolest thing about it is there's a seat option that you can get from ride one up so this bike can actually carry a passenger you put like a little padded seat back there and it has foot pegs you attach to the side of the frame and then there you go you got yourself a two-person bike so there's that puddle right there that we're gonna avoid we'll go ahead and do a little bit of off-roading on this bike now riding this thing is not the, riding this thing off-road is not this bike's forte really but it can definitely do it it can get the job done so we'll see what kind of range i get out of this bike at the end of the day here in just a little bit uh at 720 watt hours on a bike that has a 750 watt continuous motor i mean that's really you know just like every electric bike that really really just depends uh, how fast you're riding it how much work you're putting in on your own how much stop and go you're doing so i mean this is like a cruiser bike and i've pretty much been treating it like a cruiser today i've really been just enjoying riding this thing on like pedal assist 2 and pedal assist 3 pretty much cruising from like 9 to 10 mile per hour on the bike path here that's covered in sand today and up to you know about 20 with along with a couple of uh, speed tests and that sort of thing and so when we get home we'll see what kind of range we get out of the cafe cruiser as i'm riding this thing i'm realizing i really love the way this bike is geared cruising at 22 miles an hour in top gear it's just a very comfortable natural cadence and super comfortable riding position sweet bike i'm loving this one all right just made it back from my ride we have three bars remaining on the indicator there and did 20 miles i'd say you know you could probably easily get 30 probably 40 miles out of this bike at least so that's about the expected range you know from a, a 720 watt hour battery to give you a quick too long didn't read summary of the ride one up cafe cruiser the things that stand out about this bike is the comfortable riding position the upright riding geometry in unison with the seat that's on this bike and the front suspension make for a really cushy ride Another thing that stands out about this bike is the passenger kit that you can easily convert this bike into a bike that can carry a passenger or add panniers. One of the downsides is this bike is not the greatest hill climber, but it does have a gentle cadence sensor. It doesn't jerk you around a lot like some of the higher torque and better hill climber bikes out there. It's geared really well for a natural feeling while pedaling and cruising at speeds up to 28 miles per hour, and you can use the throttle up to 20 miles per hour. The battery has 720 watt hours of energy with a claimed range of 30 to 50 miles. With the way I ride, I'd expect 30 to 40 and I weigh 195 pounds. And by the way, the bike weighs 65 pounds, which makes this bike a medium-ish size relative to most e-bikes. And it should be relatively easy for smaller riders to handle as well as larger riders. And Ride One Up does offer a 30 day return period as well as a one year warranty. And I have a discount link for you below this video in the description box. So if this video has convinced you that the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser is for you, if you bought through my link below this video, it would help support this channel at no additional cost to you. And I would greatly appreciate your support. So check out the discount links below and I'll catch you in my next review.